Welcome back. I want to talk a little bit about the balance sheet. Remember, that's the financial statement that shows your financial health at a moment in time. A balance sheet is prepared as of a specific date. And there are different parts of the balance sheet, and it goes back to the basic accounting equation. And you'll remember that basic accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus shareholders' equity. Now, the reason it's shareholders' equity here is because we're talking about a balance sheet for a corporation, and a corporation has stockholders or shareholders. So its ownership section is called stockholders' equity. If I was talking about a partnership or a sole proprietorship, this would be called owner's equity instead. So you can have either A equals L plus C, or you could have A equals L plus OE, owner's equity, and you'll see that that spells ALO, doesn't it? So sole proprietorship, partnership, ALO, corporation, assets equal liabilities plus shareholders or stockholders equity. Now let's talk about assets. Assets are something that has future or potential value to a business, and there's two basic buckets. And those buckets include current assets, and current assets are those things that will be converted to cash within the next accounting period, which is usually a year. So current assets include things like cash, inventory, supplies, accounts receivable, which are when customers um, buy things on credit and say, oh, I'll pay you later. So cash inventory, supplies, accounts receivable, prepaids. Prepaids means those are expenses that you paid for before you've used or consumed them. So those are all kinds of examples for assets, and that's the current assets. Then we have non-current assets, and when we talk about non-current assets, there's three kinds. We have property, plant, and equipment, and property, plant, and equipment is property, land, plant, meaning buildings, and equipment. And equipment includes things like old trucks, cars, machines. And there's also another account here. It's called accumulated depreciation. And accumulated depreciation is the accumulated or past usage of your machinery and equipment, your plant and your equipment. In addition to property, plant, and equipment, we also have investments. And these are long-term investments that we have made in our business where we're holding on to this asset because we think it's going to appreciate in value. So it's an investment. And the last kind is intangibles. And intangibles are assets that you can't touch, but they have value. So patents, copyrights, um, franchises, goodwill are all examples of intangibles. Liabilities are responsibilities to others. Those are your promises that you make that you will fulfill at a future date. So liabilities, the easy way is they either end in payable or start in unearned. There's two types. Current liabilities, and current liabilities include accounts payable. Accounts payable are like your credit card bills, where you bought something on credit that you'll pay for later. And long-term liabilities, which are your long-term notes, like your student loans, your car loans, your mortgage on your house. So these are um, liabilities that you will pay in more than a year from now. So current liabilities are bills you'll pay in the current year. Long-term liabilities you'll pay after a year is over. And finally, stockholders' equity, and we've already talked about there's two kinds of that, didn't we? We said there's contributed capital, and contributed capital is that external ownership, and that's evidenced by stock, common stock, preferred stock, and internal ownership, which is retained earnings. 
and that's where the business has generated profits, and instead of paying it out to its shareholders as dividend, in dividends, we've retained those that income in the business, meaning it's retained earnings. So those are the major categories of the balance sheet. Thank you.